Hello everybody, this is Lollipop081 MLE here today and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art in my AG Historical and Be Forever at Hogwarts series. And excuse the buzzing. So this episode we are focusing on Samantha Parkington and her friends and family. And of course I'm starting with Miss Sam herself. She was one of the OG historical characters and she was the first to come back from the archives after her 2008-2009 retirement and all that stuff. So I aged her up and she is still like the tomboyish uh, Edwardian lady. Yes, her story takes place in the Edwardian era, not in the Victorian era, by the way. So I gave her like some of like the Gibson hairstyles, like the bunt updos and all that stuff. So her Hogwarts uniform is somewhat inspired by um, the uniforms. Oh, and that's one of the inspirations right here. It's her school outfit that was part of the inspiration for her uniform and also for some of the other characters in this part. So I sorted Sam into Hufflepuff and I also went with what the Hogwarts uh, robes look like in the 1900s for this one it was introduced in fantastic beasts and the crimes of grindelwald yes i still have yet to watch that don't remind me so i sorted sam into hufflepuff because yes she is very nice and all that stuff but she's also you don't mess with her she'll let out her inner badger at any moment so i like doing sam here our, our sweet Samantha, well, our badass, <laughs> actually with the background, I originally wanted to go with um, New York City, but I decided to do it at a park for her setting where she's casting her magic. So here is Sam, Samantha Parkington, completed. And next up is her best friend, Nellie O'Malley. So Nellie is our Irish um, American. She, um, again, her Hogwarts uniform is also kind of inspired by Sam's uniform. And I, don't worry, I'm going to call, I'm calling uh, Samantha Sam just because it's easier for me. So with Nellie, she is, um, again, Samantha's best friend. And of course, like to go back on with uh, uh, Nellie here. Um, her uniform is based off, like, yes, it's loosely based off of Samantha's school uniform and, oh, of course, what Hogwarts uniforms looked like in the 1900s. I went with her holiday outfit for what her uniform would look like. You know, with the tartan, the, the gray tone tartan plaid dress and the yellow ribbon. I also sorted her into Hufflepuff as well. So basically with Sam, Samantha... And her friends, I mostly got a lot of Hufflepuffs out of this. Also, Nellie's sisters are Hufflepuff as well. So, really, if you read the books and watched the movie, you know that Nellie and her sisters worked for Eddie. Eddie Ryland. You'll see him at the end of this video. Um, all that stuff. And Nellie and her sisters went to work in, the fa in a seamstress factory. And Sam had to... Um, bust them out all that stuff so here's Nelly completed and next up is her two younger sisters Bridget and Jenny so I'm doing Bridget here first and then I'm going with Jenny basically I'm going by what the illustrations looked like in like after the re the re the re-illustrating um, portion that was introduced in the uh, late 90s. And also, with their uniforms, they're a little bit more girl -it, like more innocent, young, innocent. Bridget's a, I think she's a second year, and Jenny's a first year. They're both Hufflepuffs and all that stuff. So basically, not a lot of I would go off with them, but all we know is that, like, they. They are friendly. They are nice. I gave them brown eyes, by the way. Like, just a variant. Variant. But they're still sisters. To, they're still Nellie's younger sisters, by the way. So, 
with the re-illustrations and all that stuff that I saw, um, Bridget was blonde, although in the original illustrations they had the same hair color, but I'm going by the re-illustrations here. Bridget is blonde, um, blonde haired, and I still gave them, like, Gibson, like, poofy hairstyles. Jenny has the same hairstyle as, uh, Maria Nikolaevna Romanova here, you know, one of the Grand Duchesses of Russia, so basically that. And they're both Hufflepuffs here, and anyways, with Jenny, she is a brunette, and they're a year apart and all that stuff. So I did base it off a little bit on the Hogwarts uniform here, but I still made it like more girl cutesy, but I didn't go with the tartan for their skirt here, but I still made it loosely based on their sister's uniform and all that stuff, kind of, but not really. Actually, their top is um, blue here because that's what it looked like in the 1900s in Hogwarts uniforms here. So basically they're young basically one of the youngest here except for um Nan and um Anna Larson whom you already saw already whom basically I already sorted. Anna is Hufflepuff and so is Nan Merriment and so are Bridget and Jenny. And it's cute, come on. So they got they got Sam, Samantha, they got Nellie, and oh, and another thing I like to add, if you haven't read the books or watched the movie, Nellie and her sisters were adopted by Samantha's aunt and uncle, and so that automatically makes them cousins by adoption and all that stuff, but come on, they're like sisters, by the way, and all that stuff. And basically I gave them like a cute little like um, garden setting for them. Here's, here they are complete, all cutesy, and also mature. So next, I did Agnes and Agatha. If you guys have read Samantha's books, especially Happy Birthday, Samantha, you know that Agnes and Agatha are Samantha's twin aunts. They are Aunt Cornelia's two sisters. She also has a younger sister named Alice. I might add. So we, we all know uh, Samantha's uncle guard marries Aunt Cornelia and all that stuff. We know that. So I wanted to do um, Agnes and Agatha and from my research, like they're feisty, they're feisty girls, they're redheads, like fiery redheads and all that stuff. And something from my research, Agnes is a little bit more hesitant than Agatha. Agatha is more feisty than Agnes. But I tried my best to make them identical right here. Like, I gave them the fiery red hair. And especially with Agatha, her hair kind of almost turned out to be like Merida's. You know, from Disney Pixar's Brave. So, that was awesome. That was fun to do. But I really enjoyed doing the both of them here. And from the research and from what I can tell, they are freaking Gryffindors. And you'll see in the bit when I do, like, the hair bows and all that stuff. So, we haven't had a Gryffindor, has any Gryffindors in a while since Addie's older brother, Sam. Another Sam, but... This is Agnes and Agatha. They're Samantha's two aunts. But they're not, they don't act like aunts. Come on. It's basically like... Base, and interesting enough, I did base I based their uniform on Samantha's Hogwarts uniform a bit and a bit on Nellie's too. So, um, anyways, they like they basically call out Eddie and be like, "Oh, no, oh, he put the too much salt in the ice cream and all this stuff." You know, from the book Happy Birthday, Samantha. I can go on all day about that. But really, these twins are feisty. But they're not like as mischievous as, well, Fred and George Weasley. They're basically the female equivalents to them. But, except they don't do pranks. They like calling people out. And they're also a lot more nice, too. They're nice gingers, by the way. They're like, it's basically what Gryffindor does stand for. 
but they're a lot nicer. And I did Sun and Moon here, like, night and day, because they're twins, and also Gemini. Gemini is also twins. It also means twins. So, uh, 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 I did Eddie Ryland. The snobbish and troublesome neighbor of Samantha's. He's from a well-to-do family like Samantha, but he goes to public school. And I sorted him into Slytherin. Come on, it's natural. It's natural for Eddie to be a Slytherin and all that stuff. I actually messed up on his eyes. That's how much I didn't. <laughs> I wanted to make him mischievous. And I almost made him look like Hercules for a moment, but I was like, nope. And I also like gave him like some sideburns because he's older and I had to like, I actually decided to give him a smirk by like um, making those curves in his lower lashes. Honestly, oh, he's basically troublesome. He basically likes getting into trouble. He likes picking on Samantha and her friends, but Samantha... Being a Hufflepuff, uh, she mostly handles it pretty well. Basically, stands up for herself. Basically, you don't mess with a badger. W let's just say that. Let's get that straight. You don't mess with a badger. So anyways, all this is up on my DeviantArt. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, Lollipop Sings. I post new videos every Friday. And also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and DeviantArt. Same handle. Click the bell for notifications for every time I upload a new video. So, anyways, peace out.